record. All right. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, we're going to start by sitting up nice and straight in our seat. You want to allow the body to just start to melt into the present moment. Try not to overthink it. Just start by breathing in and out. Allowing for the cycle of breath to carry you. And for the next, I would say about 25 minutes to a half an hour, try not to think about your to-do list. And try not to think about if you're doing meditation right or wrong. You want to just be kind and compassionate to yourself. Do your best. Adjust the body. If you're sitting up and straight in your seat, try to get up a little bit taller with your spine. Vertebrae stacked on top of vertebrae. Relax the shoulders. Also, let the weight fall from the shoulders down the arms into the hands. Take an inhale in, breathe in, and exhale, release, ha. Inhale and breathe in, exhale, release, ha. Hmm. See if you can even hear your breath here. Notice the sound and the vibrations. And also notice how you're receiving your breath in this moment. Is there a way you can describe it? Is it shallow? Is it deep? Is it choppy? Is it smooth? Allow yourself to just notice the breath without trying too hard to adjust it or using your judgments in a way that would have you feel as though your your breath is one way or the other you're just simply acknowledging it as it is continue to breathe in and out For the next five breath cycles, I want you to just focus on the quality of breath that's coming into your body. I'm going to ring the singing bowl and allow the sound of the bowl to be part of the experience as you continue to concentrate on your breath. Start to bring your body also into awareness. As you bring in the breath, notice the rise of the body. Really allow in your mind's eye this um, vision of your chest, your belly, even your back rising with the breath. Really just feel it. Allow the tracing of this to be part of the breath. You're tracing it in your mind's eye. If you like, you can even bring a visualization of maybe something beautiful to you in comparison to your chest and your belly and your back. It could be a mountaintop or a lake, something else in nature or a cloud, whatever it is that helps you to notice 
and really be able to anchor into that pleasantness of the breath coming into the body. And then when on the exhale, you can allow it to be the same visualization, but just notice the sinking as it releases, the chest starts to deflate, the belly deflates, the back body gets a little bit more narrow. And just see if you can tap into the cycle that the body is part of. Remember, keep your visualization there. It's really important to bring something into this experience that's pleasant. While you're doing this, try to relax the rest of the body, any parts of the body that are not necessary to help you with this inhale and exhale motion. motion. Sometimes our arms are like kind of tense or we're holding our tongue up against the top of the mouth, our fingertips, maybe we have um, hands that are kind of clenched up. See if you can just relax everything. You can also notice that sometimes there's this tension in the lower part of the body as well. Try to relax that too, knowing that it's not necessary to be part of the breath cycle in this moment. Notice if there's a freedom that comes with the ability to notice that not everything needs to work for you to continuously be um, here with the breath. We don't need to work the lowest part of the limbs or the legs. We can be still in these other parts of our body. Even though the body moves with the breath, we can still find stillness. Continue to find stillness for the next 20 breath cycles. Remember, focus on the body. If you need to, you can take a hand and place it on the belly or the chest or both. If that helps you. You don't have to, but if it helps. Remember to try to find stillness in the rest of the body. You can also keep your mind's eye vision here as well. Whatever that pleasantness is for you, keep that here as part of you, part of your experience. Just when you think you've relaxed, see if you can relax a little more in this stillness. Take another inhale and exhale to help you be intentional about that relaxation and then feel the body again reconnecting.
And again, when you feel as though you've relaxed and you've found a sense of stillness and peace, I want you to try to let go even a little bit more. You can even physically um, allow the shoulders to maybe relax or anything else that you identify relaxation with. The opposite of this is striving. The striving sense is this ability to move and move and move. And now we're in a restoration place within this practice, which is very different from our normal activity. So it takes a little bit of practice. And just when we think we've relaxed, we find that we are still maybe striving here and there and in different parts of our mind or our emotions and then we can let go even more and steady we continue to maintain our awareness here in the present moment by being still and breathing And in this still sense, in this pleasant still sense of space, I want you to bring your awareness and attention down to your feet. Allow the breath now to come to the feet. You're actually placing your mind's eye there so that your vision now includes your feet. And just be gentle with it. And you just simply bring that part of the vision down to the feet and allow it to expand naturally. You can feel your feet on the floor and feel a sense of calmness and peace as your feet are resting on something that supports you, something that you trust is there for you, the ground. And allow yourself to be grounded using the breath. Focusing on the body. And using your mind's eye to help support your vision. And as we're here in our veins, I want you to take the next 30 breath cycles to do a body scan. Bring with you the sense of stillness as you go through each part of the body. Allow your awareness to isolate and concentrate as you get to each part. You're gonna go from the feet to the crown of the head. I'm going to um, work with you coming up, and then you're going to do a self um, body scan going back down. So we're going to come up to our ankles and our lower legs, using your awareness and the sense of stillness. Breathe in to the lower legs and ankles. And allow in your vision, in your mind's eye, for this to be the only thing in your awareness. And see if you can relax a little bit more here and just be still. Any parts of the body that do not necessarily need to be part of this part of the body in your practice, just try to relax them even more. So like the full upper body and the hands, the thighs, the, even like the face and stuff like that it really doesn't need to be part of this practice here for the lower legs.
and exhale and let go. And you're going to move up to the knees and the upper thighs. And look at the full length of the knee through your mind's eye. Feel the shape. Notice the depth. Notice the texture. Breathe in and out. Find the sense of stillness and relax a little bit more in your thighs. Isolating your thighs and your knees in the sense of awareness. And give yourself the freedom to just focus here. We're going to come up now to the hips and the pelvic bowl area. You'll feel weight coming down from the upper body. See if you can relax even more into this pelvic bowl area, the glutes, the hips, the lowest part of the back body, where the sacrum is, the tailbone, the pelvic area. And even though the weight presses down from the upper body, see if you can just relax a little bit more, feeling the support of the seat, trusting that it's there for you. And be in the stillness of the moment, relaxing even more using the breath to connect to this area of the body. We're going to come up now from our scan and come up to the belly, the chest, the back body, the full mid area of the body. You can notice from the lowest part of the belly how the breath impacts this area. So each time you breathe in and out, it's a really strong indicator of ability, your sense and ability to relax. So if you feel yourself tense here, try to relax a little bit more. And if you're already in this loose, still state, try to challenge yourself to let go even more. And just explore this area and be still. And try to keep your full focus here on this isolated area of the body. And also bring your pleasantness into this experience. Remember with your breath, you can choose to have a sense of pleasantness or an experience that you like through your intention. You can allow that to be part of your breath cycle, part of your experience, but you don't have to force it. You just can know it's there here to support you. Just as you know, your breath is here to support you. We're going to come up to our shoulders, down our arms, and to our fingers. 
the full length of the limbs. And just notice the breath travel. In this part of the body, you want to let go a little bit more. It's, it's a worker bee. The legs and the arms are worker bees in the body. So use this as an opportunity to just relax them, allow it to be isolated from the rest of the body. In this moment, give them the day off, so to speak. Allow your limbs to just be lazy, lazy limbs. Letting go and being still. Continue to keep your pleasant here, just pleasantness here if you like. And we're going to come up now to the neck and to the face and the head. As you breathe in and out, you can feel this breath travel up through the neck, body, and the head, through the face the front of the face, the back of the head, the sides, the ears. There's a lot of senses here. See if you can just relax all your senses for a moment. And see if you can just be still. And just when you think you relax a little bit more, try to let go. Maybe let your jaw loose. Allow your tongue to fall away from the top of the mouth. Allow the eyes to smile. Let your hair down. Continue to use the breath to help assist you and support you. Just when you think you've relaxed and you're still, try to relax a little bit more and be even more still. See if you can go deeper. We're going to come to the crown of the head. And I want you to really breathe in here, the sense of stillness. Imagine the stillness makes it up to the clouds in the sky on your inhale. And on your exhale, I'll imagine that the nature and the earth support you as you bring in the goodness and the oxygen. And you know it does support you because you breathe and you're alive. There's a sense of grounding through gravity. There's a sense of breathing through air and oxygen. And take your body scan back down for the remainder of this practice, self-guided. Coming down in the next 30 breath cycles. Follow the body as you wish, but continue to seek the sense of stillness and relaxation as you come back down to the feet. Remember, you can keep your pleasant, your pleasantness there as part of the practice, your intention. I'm going to ring the singing bowl. You can allow this bowl to just be part of the experience. Continue to travel through the body in your own natural pace, but steady.
few breaths. Start to help you to come back to this place where you can open your eyes. Still continue to feel the stillness with you. You can wiggle the toes and the fingertips, allowing the experience to liven up. Breathing in and out. Maybe you can smile. Congratulate yourself on a job well done. You didn't have to do class today, but you did. And thank you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and namaste. Thank you.